Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the new polygonize functionality in the latest release of Eagle to quickly make polygons that have complex shapes. So right now we're looking at a board that definitely has a non-trivial shape. What we can do is we can click on any part of the outline, right click, and you'll see this option called Convert to Polygon and you'll notice it has two options copy and replace if you pick replace the original contour will be eliminated and it will be replaced by the new polygon contour if you pick copy then the original contour will be preserved and the new polygon will be put immediately on top of it so it'll follow the contour so what we can do is we can go convert to polygon copy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bottom layer. So I'll say OK. And if we zoom in, we'll see that there is a polygon there using the same width as the original dimension line. And if I do an info on that polygon, then we'll see that we can change its different parameters, its rank, etc. I can also change its width to make sure that it fills in. We can use a name command to give it a name. So let's pick, let's just call it ground. Okay, and now if we do a rat's nest, it will fill in completely. And right now we have the dominant layer as bottom. If I pick top, then we'll be able to see the top polygon on top. Now, this command doesn't only work to turn line contours into polygons but it can also do the reverse so I could right click here on the edge and we'll see that instead of convert to polygon we have convert to wires and again you have a copy and a replace option let's say in this case I want to turn this into a cutout what we can do is we can pick replace and you'll see that it turns it into a straight set of wires on the top layer and again we could go ahead and use a change command pick layer and just put all of that on the dimension layer we can do it with single clicks or we can form a group since we have a few amount of wires I'll just go ahead and do them all together we do a rastiness again and we see the isolation okay so this new functionality is going to be very useful especially when working with DXF imports so if you import board features in the DXF format now you can e very easily recreate the fills simply by using the polygonize command as you all know the current implementation of the DXF import only brings in lines but if those lines form a closed contour you can very easily transform them into closed contours into polygons so that's something that we know is going to be really useful, especially for those that are importing data using the DXF file format. And we know that you're going to be able to take advantage of it. Thank you very much and have a great day.